Okay. Um, last night I did the Shackleton's uh, Scout Zone on my own. So this couldn't be any better, could it really? <laughs> At least I've got double figures tonight, this is great. <laughs> so thanks to everyone here and everyone there that's turned up. Um, you're part of something bigger than this. So what we're hoping is that this Scout Zone has, has set off from Gilwell. Uh, and it was held at Gilwell uh, on the 5th of September. And then we've held the Scout Zone um, on Friday in London with the Request team. And it then, uh, luckily, because I turned up, uh, was, was held at Gra Gravesend last night. Um, I had my wife filming <laughs> and me reading. Um, and then uh, tonight in Sheerness, and then I'm off to Plymouth on Friday, and Plymouth Scouts are well behind this. So we're going to have all of the Plymouth Scouts coming out to the harbour, and they're going to hear this Scout Zone. It's then going off to Lisbon, and Rio de Janeiro, and so on, along the route of the original Quest Expedition. Now, you're going to hear about the, the Shackleton Road Quest Expedition uh, tonight. So let's formally begin. The Boss as I Knew Him, an extract from the book, uh, The Book of Quest 1929, The Boss as I Knew Him, by Dr. Leonard Hussey, a member of Shackleton's last two expeditions. Bem-vindos! Este scout on o compromisso dos escuteiros. Foi realizado pela primeira vez em Gilwell Park, sede dos escuteiros ingleses, às 11 horas no domingo 5 de setembro de 2021, quando uma placa comemorativa para os escuteiros Mar e Munei foi oficialmente descerrada. Porque estou aqui? Um jovem rapaz, pouco conhecido pela fama, tornou a encher o cachimbo e acendeu a lareira. Longe. No horizonte, fangiu a testa um pico coberto de neve. And welcome everyone to St Paul's Maystone Scout Headquarters. It's the 8th of November 2021 and for the purposes of today, this is now going to be called St Paul's Rock. The reason that we're taking part at St Paul's Maystone Scout Headquarters is that St Paul's Rock, as you can see in the picture, actually has an inhabitant of four people. Um, and they're all scientists, uh, there are no scouts there, so we're having to undertake the uh, scouts over here today. <laughs> Oi, como vai você? Bem-vindo a mais um vídeo do Kent Scouts Request 2021. Nós somos os escoteiros do Brasil e também estamos aqui ansiosos por essa grande aventura. Por isso, viemos ao Rio de Janeiro para contar um pouco mais dessa jornada para todos vocês. Fiquem ligados, porque o nosso próximo destino é a Antártida. Vem com a gente explorar esse projeto fantástico. Sempre alerta! Este Scout Zone, ou Compromisso dos Escoteiros, foi realizado pela primeira vez em Gilwell Park. Um, this Scout Zone was first held at Gilwell Park, UK Scouting Headquarters, at 11am on Sunday the 5th of September 2021, when a commemorative plaque to Scouts Ma and Mooney was officially unveiled. The intention is to then pass on, share and hold the Scout Zone with fellow Scouts across the world, all along the original route of Quest's 1921-1922 voyage, exactly 100 years after Quest arrived at each location. Devon Plymouth participate in the Devon and Cornwall Polar Society centenary event in Plymouth. Number eight, Shackleton, celebrate and pay respects to the achievements of Sir Ernest Henry Shackleton. Number nine, links, build strong links with the scouts in other countries on the original expedition route. Number 10, legacy, leave a lasting scouting polar research legacy inspired by Scouts Ma works on Krill. On behalf of the Kent Scouts Request 2021 Antarctic Project, 
and here at Shackleton's Cairn on South Georgia, 100 years to mark the day that the origi original Shackleton Rowett Quest Expedition left from South Georgia to head home to England. After the last expedition on the quest, Sir Ernest was one of the greatest Englishmen that the world has ever seen, and we lost our best friend from when he played the game. Gough Island. Gough Island is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was named after Captain Charles Gough. And I'm going to read an extract from Shackleton's Last Voyage by Frank Wilde. Welcome to the Sea Scout base, the home of sea scouting in Cape Town, South Africa. Behind me, we have but scouts from local sea scout troops to assist with the Kent Request project. So you're part of scouting history by being part of this scout zone. And uh, I'm going to ask S to start. Commemorative plaques. The inscription on the plaques reads as follows. Remember James William Slessor Marr, 1902 to 1965. And Norman Erland Mooney, 1905 to 1945. Who took part in the 1921 Shackleton Quest Expedition. The intention was then to pass on, share and hold the scout zone with fellow scouts around the world along the original route of Quest's 1921 to 1922 voyage, exactly 100 years after Quest left each location. It has been held in London, in Lisbon by the Lisbon scouts, in Rio de Janeiro underneath the statue of the Redeemer, in Cape Town, and many other smaller islands and ports along the way. This included the request team holding a service on board the ship whilst in Antarctica on the 5th of January 2022, the 100th anniversary of Shackleton's passing. The very same day, a young scout, Connor McLeod, and various officials of South Georgia also held it at Shackleton's graveside. After returning from Antarctica, the Scout Zone ceremony was held at Fordell Furs, the Scottish Scouting HQ, just a week ago, where a replica commemorative plaque was also installed to the two scouts, Mar and Mooney, who sailed with Shackleton. Uh, it's then been held here in Plymouth, 16th of September 2022. And finally, we're going to hold it on Sunday evening in Portsmouth to mark the end of the Request 2021 project where Scout Mar finished his year-long voyage. Now, it's been a tough week for all of us as a country, as a nation. Um, what we'd like to do before we hold our Scout Zone is hold a respectful minute silence for Her Majesty the Queen. So if you could ask you to bow your heads. Let's finish with a reading of the final words from Mars 1923 book, Into the Frozen South. And now I can hardly believe that it was all true, yet it was true, gloriously so. I too have seen and known and learnt. I too have companioned with the great souls who helped to make our island history. Sir Ernest Shackleton, Commander Frank Wilde and the others all great of heart and fearless of soul, had been my shipmates and my friends. It was a memorable year indeed, and for all time I know I must carry with me a vision of tumbling waves by day and phosphorescent breakers in the night. The grind and bellow of the closing pack, the rush 
and roar of broken waters at the growlers' feet, the hushed noises of the seals as they come to the surface in the still water of the pack, and always shall I see in mind's eye the glory of the Antarctic night, and most poignant yet, inspiring of all my memories there, is that of the lonely cross outlined against the whirling drive of the South Georgian sleet.